Hello, it's Mr Baglin again. Welcome to this online numeracy lesson. Today we're going to be learning about one of the four number operations. Division. Before we begin, we are going to practice some of our times tables. Are you ready? One times one is one. One times two is two. One times three is three. One times four is four. One times five is five. One times six is six. One times seven is seven. One times eight is eight. One times nine is nine. One times ten is ten. One times eleven is eleven. One times twelve is twelve. This table rocks. Two times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, two times four is eight, two times five is ten, two times six is twelve, two times seven is fourteen, two times eight is sixteen, two times nine is eighteen, two times ten is twenty, two times eleven is twenty-two, two times twelve is twenty-four. This table rocks. Five times one is five. Five times two is ten. Five times three is fifteen. Five times four is twenty. Five times five is twenty-five. Five times six is thirty. Five times seven is thirty-five. Five times eight is forty. Five times nine is forty-five. Five times ten is fifty. Five times eleven is fifty-five. Five times twelve is sixteen. This table rocks. Ten times one is ten. Ten times two is twenty. Ten times three is thirty. Ten times four is forty. Ten times five is fifty. Ten times six is sixty. Ten times seven is seventy. Ten times eight is eighty. Ten times nine is ninety. Ten times ten is a hundred. Ten times eleven is a hundred and ten. Ten times twelve is a hundred and twenty. This table rocks. This table rocks. Did you enjoy Times Tables Rock? I hope so. We always have lots of fun singing and dancing to it in the classroom. At parents' evening, you were all given a home learning pack. Can you find your pencil and some squared paper? First, I would like you to write the target shown below the top of your page. During the lesson, I will be asking you to complete some examples on your sheet of squared paper. I would like you to pause the video. You'll see an icon on the screen like this. When I have given you a task to do, this will give you time to write your answer. Are you ready? When we have solved division number problems so far, we have used this method. Grouping on a number line. The method is okay when the amounts we want to share are small, but can get very untidy when the amounts get bigger, because of the number of jumps we have to make on our number line. 
it becomes very easy to lose track of where we are on our number line and there is more chance of making mistakes labelling the jumps and the number line itself. There is, however, another method. It's called short division. Would you like to see it? OK, I've chosen this calculation to show you the method. 36 divided by 2 equals. OK, now it's one you can probably do in your head. So you should be able to tell whether the answer we get is correct. OK, so the first thing we do is write the big number. And I'm going to choose some colours. OK, we're going to use third. So it's going to be 30, tens numbers like that. We're going to have ones numbers like that. And then the divisor we're going to have in black. Now, you put your big number there and then you draw this over it. OK. And the number that goes outside is the number that you're dividing it by. So this, in effect, becomes like the division sign. And it looks a bit like a bus stop. That's why we call it the bus stop method. OK. So the first thing we do this time is look at the tens numbers. And we're trying to see how many times two goes into the tens numbers. So how many lots of two are there in three? How many lots of two are there in three? That's right, there's one lot of two in three. But then I've got some left over, haven't I? So I've got two going into three once, but there's one left over. And the one left over, we actually carry over and we put here in front of the ones number. OK, and then we do the same. How many lots of two? Are there in 16? That's the one we think of. How many lots of 2 are there in 16? You've got it. There's 8 lots of 2 in 16, isn't there? So when we've worked that one out, we put it above the number like that. So there are 2 goes into 16 8 times. And that is our answer. 36 divided by 2 is 18. And so as I've got my calculation open here, I'm going to put that there. Now, like I said, I've chosen this one because it's a double that we should know. OK. You've got half of 36 is 18. Double 18 is 36. So this allows us to quite quickly and simply to divide larger numbers. OK. Let's see if we can try another one and I'll show you the method again. Look at this calculation. OK, so our sum, division sum, 65. And we're dividing that by 5. So you can see the numbers that we're using are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, aren't they? Imagine having to do jumps of jumps of 5 all the way to get to 65. The chances that we're going to miss a jump or mislabel the line, OK, becomes more common. There's every more chance of it happening. So first thing we need to do, I'm going to use colours. We're putting our numbers. Big number. 65. And then we add our divisor. Outside of our bus stop. So this bus stop becomes our division sum. 
the, the divisor, we're dividing the number inside the bus stop by the number outside of the bus stop. So looking at the tens, the digit that's in the tens column, <clears throat> how many lots of five go into six? So we're thinking that way, how many fives are there in six? That's, we've got one lot of five, haven't we? We've got one lot of five in six. Now, to get from five up to six, we need, we've got one left over, haven't we? So we put that one left over, we carry that one over into this ones column. So now our five becomes 15 because we're moving one of these tens. OK, and we do the same. We say, how many lots of five are there in 15? So think of your five times table. What's five is five, two fives is ten, three lots of five in 15. So we put that there. And children, it's as simple as that. So 65 to divided by five, 65 divided by five, to close my calculation off, equals 13. Once again, like the column method of multiplication, this relies on your increasing knowledge of times tables. Now, when we get back to school, I know that if you're in my numeracy group, you have a list of your times tables in your jotters, and there's no harm in using those, but it's fab if you can remember your times tables. But these examples we're going to look at and the questions that you're going to have a go at independently will use the times tables that you should know. OK, I'm going to stick to threes, uh, fours and five times tables, I think I've decided to, to stick with. So you should be able to do them in your head, but you should also be able to work them out as well. So let's try another one. Let's look at another calculation. So the calculation for this example, 42, and we're dividing it in three equal bits. So we need to know how many times three goes into 42. So writing our sum out, I'm going to use different colours, see if we can, uh, see if it helps us at all. It's not going to harm us. Oops, hang on. What am I doing there? Got the wrong number down. So we've got four tens and two ones. OK, and we're dividing it by three. So the bus stop here is our division sign. So anything within inside the bus stop we're dividing by three. So ask yourself, looking at the tens first, I've got four, how many lots of three are there in four and how many are left over? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I've got one lot of three in four and there's, that's right, one left over, which you pop there. We carry that one left over into the ones column. Now ask yourself, how many lots of three are there in 12? How many lots of three are there in 12? So we can use repeated addition for this one to help us if you want to. Think of it as jumps on a number line. So we've got three, okay, and then plus three is six, and then another three is nine, and then a fourth three is 12. So there are four, Lots of three in 12. So 42 divided by three equals 14. Close out my calculation. 42 divided by three equals 14. Now, if you're not quite sure or, or you don't believe me, let's, let's go the other way. OK, so we can multiply this by three and it should get us back to this number. So if I've got three lots of 10 is Yep, 30, and three lots of four is 12, 30 plus 12 is 42.
This is another um, operation or another method for the division number operation. Okay, and I think if we can get to grips with this one, you're going to be able to divide increasingly larger numbers on your own. Let's try another one. Let's look at another one. Look at this calculation. Okay, the next one for us to try together. Um, we've got 56. And I'm dividing that by four this time. We're going to use uh, four times tables. Now I'm just going to do this one in black this time, rather than using the uh, the number, the different colours. So we set it out with a big number inside our bus stop, and the number that we're dividing it by is outside of that bus stop. Okay. We know that we're going to now work with our tens number. So we've got five. How many lots of four are there in five? Well, there's one lot of four in five. And we have one left over, don't we? So now we divide this number, which is 16, by four. How many fours are in 16? Fours are in 16. Well, brilliant. You know, I think because you, you're beginning to learn your four times table, that there are four lots of four in 16. So simple as that, that is our answer. 56 divided by 4 equals 14. Easy, isn't it? The numbers that we can divide are getting bigger. But like I said before, if you imagine doing a jump, if you imagine having to do your, your jumps on a number line. You've got your number line there. Grouping on a number line, you go in a jump of 4. Plus four, go to four, and then we're doing a jump of four, and then we're doing another jump of four, and then we do another jump of four, wouldn't we? We might forget to label our line, but we need to label that one. Another jump of four, another jump of four. Now I'm starting to get bored by doing all of these jumps of four. And you can see my number line is beginning to get to the end. So we have to do something then. Oof, what do I have to do? We do a jump of four, which takes me up to there. You've got to draw another number line and that never works very well because we might, what happens then if you do this, you might label, so we've got a jump of four, and, another jump of four. What do we label the start of this line? Does it start with, uh, and it becomes really, really confused. And so our ability to be able to divide larger numbers is really hampered by the fact that we have to do all of these jumps on the number line. So this is a no, no, we're kind of not gonna do this at all, okay? We're going to see if we can concentrate on this. But I reckon you're doing really well. I think there's time for uh, for you to have a go at one on your own, and then we'll get back together to see how you did. Have a go at this calculation on your own. Set it out with the big number inside the bus stop. Then see how many times a divisor, the number outside the bus stop, goes into the tens number. Write your answer on top of the bus stop. Carry any number left over into the ones column and see how many times the divisor goes into that number. And write that answer above the bus stop. Off you go!
How did you get on? Let's see how you did. So the number, or the calculation was 52. And we're dividing that by four. Okay, so we set this one out. Got our big number. And that sits inside our bus stop. And that's our division sum, division sign for this. And the number we're dividing by goes outside. So our sum is, oops, our sum is 52 divided by 4. So the first thing you should have done was looked at the tens number. How many times can I fit this number into this number? So I've got 5. How many times does 4 go into 5? And it's just 5 it goes into. That's right, I've got 1 lot of 4 in 5 with 1 left over. And you should have put that one left over here into that ones column. You put your answer above the bus stop. So how many fours are there in five? There's one lot of four goes above that number in the bus stop. And then you carry the one that's left over into this ones column. Then you should have completed the same um, task. You've got 12. How many lots of four are there in 12? Three fours are 12. Correct. So we know that four goes into 12 three times. And that is our answer. 52 divided by four equals 13. Now, I've chosen to use the target. I am beginning to be able to use the bus stop method. Children, this is really, really pushing the boundaries of where you should be in year three. OK, I'm really challenging you. By even thinking that we can we can have a go at, at trying this one. OK, so if you've got that answer, well done. Have a massive pat on the back. OK, and there are lots and lots of places that we can perhaps think where we've gone wrong. We need to we need to be able we need to be quite secure in our, our knowledge and understanding that, that we're not actually looking at how many fours there are in 50. This is just a five. So we're looking at these digits. So the four just goes into five. OK not into 50, we're not actually dividing it into 50. And then you look at each individual one, each individual number as like a separate, a separate thing. So 52 divided by four equals 13. Well done. I'd like you to try some independently. Okay, so have a go at these examples on your own. Your target today is I am beginning to be able to use the bus stop method to solve division number problems. Set out the calculation with the big number inside the bus stop. Then see how many times a divisor goes into the tens number. Write your answer on top of the bus stop. Carry any number left over into the ones column and see how many times the divisor goes into that number. Then write that answer above the bus stop. Your target today is I am beginning to be able to use the bus stop method to solve division number problems. Follow these steps to ensure that you're successful. Set out the calculation with the big number inside the bus stop. Then see how many times a divisor goes into the tens number. Write your answer on top of the bus stop.
Carry any number left over into the ones column and see how many times the divisor goes into that number. Then write that answer above the bus stop. When you have finished, check your work against the answers on the next page. Did you meet the criteria? How did you get on? If you would like to complete some independent work, then log on to TT Rockstars for times tables or Purple Mash for some maths games. Thank you for your hard work today. I would love to see the results of your hard work. Send your calculations to me at school. You can use any of the ways you can see on the screen, WhatsApp, email or postbox. I'll see you again soon for some more numeracy tomfoolery. Bye!